Hello, welcome back to my channel, Smart Codings by Shoykot Banerjee. Today I am back again with another video to help you with the programming concepts, how to write programs with the uh, logics of chapter number 5. So without uh, delay, let's start. So of chapter number 5 method, there is a question uh, in the programming section. Next size, write a program in Java using method discount to calculate single discount or successive discount. That means we have to calculate on a price of a product for a single discount, then again we have to calculate a successive discount. Okay, for this we need to overload a method discount having single parameter, double parameters, and triple, triple parameters. Okay, after calculating the successive discount, we need to display the amount to be paid by the customers after getting discounts on the printed price of an article right so I was writing this code for you so let's explain me this code how it works it is a blue J editor this plus you have to import a package like this uh, import java.util.scanner it will write like this uh, import java.util.scanner okay after this, you have to write here class discount uh, underscore demo I have given as a class name. Now, as in the question, it is said that we have to overload the discount method with a single parameter. Okay, so we will write here int p1. p1 stands for suppose price. Okay, and this will simply print the result. So that's why uh, it will not return anything. For that reason, we have given here void. So question is why void I have given over here. Because this will simply display the result. Uh, so that's why void. It will not return anything. Okay, to the caller. So after single discount, uh, this will be the first discount, single discount, and this for successive discount. At this ten and eight. Uh, you can take a value of your choice. It's a percentage. Now, in this, we are calculating. Uh, we are overloading a method discount with two parameters. This p one sum of price and discount for d one, and price after discount. It will be total price suppose 12,000 minus this is what is discount we are calculating 12,000 into 10 by 100 that is 1200. So 12,000 minus 1200 it is coming what 10,800. I hope so. If I am not wrong, it is 10,800. Let's check uh, 12,000 uh, minus this 1200 is 10,800. Correct now. This is what is calculating the single discount. That is being said that we have to calculate the successive discount. Again, we have to write a method having three parameters. This one, this line. Okay. Now, the, again, we, in that 10,000, uh, 12,000 was the total price. In that only, we have to calculate the first 10 percent. D2 stands for suppose 10 percent. Then again, uh, what is the remaining amount? 10,800 here in this variable. Price after discount, it remains uh, 10,800. Now in that 10,800 we are again, again calculating suppose 8% so the 10,800 8% of 10,800 is what coming let me check in the calculator it is 864 rupees so 10,800 minus 864 what is coming is this is 9,936 rupees after that it is calculated returning the this one this very uh, this one price after discount to as you can see that this is the final price after calculating the successive discount so basically what is being done here first we are creating a single price discount here uh, method uh, a single parameter in which you are printing two things a single discount and a successive discount statements we are printing over here now in this we are calculating in this part we are calculating the success, uh, single discount suppose price is 12,000 or suppose price is 10,000 so 10% 10 of 10,000 is 1,000 so 10,000 minus 1,000 it is coming what? 9,000. So 9,000 is stored here. Now again, in that 10,000 only, total price is 10,000. First you are calculating 10%, that is 9,000. Again in that 9,000 cal calculating 8% suppose. Whatever is the amount coming is stored in this, in this variable, price after discount 2. Then we are returning this one. Your return statement is must because there is a double type uh, in the method header. Now, from the main method, public static void main first you are creating a scanner class object 
we are taking the input is in scanner class that is the price we are taking p1 sc dot next end is a uh, method to take input of integer token after that we are creating an object of discount demo class that is ob and finally we are calling in this right so calling let us comment it here calling method discount method discount okay now once this is called suppose i am passing here 12000 so 12000 is when it is passed here it is passed over this version of discount is matching with this one this 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 uh, version it is matching because th there is only one parameter here it is matching with this now inside this method body it will first execute this one so this is matching with this one it will calculate this one first that is 12000 minus that is 1200 that is the discount price it is coming 10800 again it will execute this one on the total amount that is 12000 minus the 1200 it is coming 10800 uh, on the 10800 again successive discount 8 percent that is we are calculating here 9000 something is coming okay so this is what is the code which you have to write students you can, you can see the final uh, final code over your full code now let us uh, compile this no syntax error close this right click on this main method okay let us give the enter the price 12000 press enter see 10% of 12,000 is uh, that is uh, 1200. It is coming 10,800. That is total amount minus 1200. That is coming 10,800. Okay. And again, in that price, we are calculating successive discount is first 10%, then 8%. It will come 9,936 rupees. So this is the final output. I hope this is clear, students. If this uh, video is useful and really helpful for you, this is a single program solution I have given you how to write a code. So this is what is method overloading. This is what is method declaration. Let us comment here. Method declaration. Okay. Insert this curly bracket. This is what is method definition. Again, this is method declaration. Let us copy this one. Method declaration. Let us copy this. And here also let us copy this. Because as in the question is said, you have to overload discount method with three different version. Having a single parameter, double parameters, and triple parameters. Okay. So this is what is and from the main method, the caller method, we are, we are calling this discount method. Once this um, discount is called, it is matching with which version? It is matching with first one, first version here, this one. So once uh, it will program control will jump here, so go inside the method body, it will calculate this one. So in this only also we are in this print statement also display in this uh, output statement or print statement, we are calling again discount method here. This version is matching with this one, calculating this. And this is matching with this one because there are three things of integer type. Okay, so that is P1, 10, and 8 is matching with this one. So, this is what is um, calculating the uh, amount to be paid by the customers after getting discounts from the printed price of an article using function overloading. I hope this is uh, useful for you. You can see the code. Once again, properly, you can give the variable name of your own choice, students. So let's stop here. If this video is useful, really helpful, students, kindly subscribe it, comment it, your doubts in the YouTube comment sections, and do like it. Thank you. Take care.